Hello. We'll talk about the paper named Optical Fiber-Based Sensor for Assessing Electric Current in Unmanned Aerial Vehicles with ROS Interface. The authors of this work are Felipe Delgado and Marco Aurelio Juca, and we worked under supervision of professors André Marcato and Alexandre Bessa. This work was developed in Brazil at the Federal University of Juiz de Fora, UFJF, in the Instrumentation and Telemetry Lab. The use of unmanned aerial vehicles has grown in many different areas of application. Today, the estimated value of global market for drone-powered business solutions is $127.3 billion, with best prospects for drone applications in the industries of infrastructure, agriculture and transport. We designed an optical fiber-based sensor for assessing electric current in UAV's electric motors. This picture shows the long period fiber grading that we use for the sensor. In addition to the LPFG, we also use the neodymium magnet which is lightweight, compact and simple to install. It is used near the conductor wire inside the arm of the UAV. The mechanism is based on the Lorentz magnetic force. This video shows the mechanism in action. The magnetic field generated by the current within the wire repels the magnet whose deflection causes strain in the LPFG sensor which we can interrogate. Here we can see the optical spectrum analyzer showing that the spectral response of the sensor shifts according to the external strain applied to the sensor. With this mechanism we achieve the linear response for the electric current as a function of the wavelength shift. We verified our measurements using a digital ammeter clamp. Our mechanism achieved good values of accuracy and repeatability in the tests performed at the lab. To check for the existence of hysteresis, we performed the same measurements in the acceleration and the deceleration of the drone, and we verified that its effect is negligible. The UAV we developed has an onboard computer running control algorithms within the ROS environment. Therefore, we developed the ROS package for interfacing with the sensor. The package consists of two nodes. The interrogation node queries the sensor and publishes the value of the LPFG resonant wavelength. The processing node uses this value along with the calibration curve obtained to calculate the corresponding electric current. The calculated value is made available to any node in the same ROS environment. We tested the package by interrogating the whole range of electric current of the motor. We verified our measurements using a digital emitter clamp. Thank you for watching. Come visit us at the interactive presentation.